Between 1960 and 1964, the submarine USS Growler sat hidden in the frigid waters off the coast of Russia. Its crew of 90 men waited for a signal to fire their nuclear missiles at Soviet military facilities. Growler was the only nuclear missile submarine open to the public in the United States. The Cold War demanded a new type of navy, one suited for the atomic age. Submarines offered clear advantages as platforms for nuclear weapons. They were hidden, mobile and difficult to destroy. The US Navy rushed to develop the ideal underwater weapon while recruiting and training men to operate these new submarines and missiles. The first generation of nuclear missile submarines, including Growler, emerged in the late 1950s. They carried the Regulus I nuclear missile. Based on proven jets and missile technology, the new missile could be adapted to existing submarine designs, but the missile had to be launched from the surface and manually guided by radar, which made its launch vessel extremely vulnerable to attack. The five submarines that carried regular missiles had a specific mission, conduct deterrent patrols within striking range of military facilities on Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. The presence of these submarines was intended to deter the Soviet Union from launching a nuclear attack against the United States. Between 1960 and 1964, Growler conducted eight of these patrols. A diesel-electric submarine like Growler was a demanding work environment. Engine fuel, cigarette smoke, and unwashed bodies perfumed the air. Crew members had no space to spread out to exercise or to be alone. The men settled into a round-the-clock work routine. Days blended into one another as they maneuvered the submarine through the cold, dark waters on the western Pacific. They checked equipment and conducted drills to maintain a state of readiness for a launch order that never came. Growler and the other regular missile submarines patrolled for only five years. Rapid advancements in submarine and missile technology such as ballistic missiles that could be launched from beneath the surface made them obsolete. In 1964, the Navy removed the Regulus missile from service. Growler opened to the public at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum in 1989. All right, so guys, so this is it. Um, let's take a walk into the submarine, the Growler SSG 577. Let's go in. Let me show you what it is like in this submarine. I'm so excited to go inside this submarine to see how inside look like. Look at the outside. Look at that huge, this, it's huge i hope you just listen to the history about this um submarine and i'm going to take you inside that in a bit for now just look outside look at how it looks like feel it now we are in the this is the submarine growler at the cold war you know during the second world war this is the cold war and the war is written over there. Look at the map right there. Um, that shows various areas, various activities going on, you know, um, on that map right there during the um, World War II. So this is like a, the entrance of the submarine. This is like the first place that you get to. It's, it's a little museum proud to going into the uh, um, to the submarine and what to see in there what you should expect so this is like a small space area um, museum that you can look at before you go inside itself so this is some of the chairs and yes um, as you can see, this is a Navy uniform, you know, a uniform that is worn by Navy, the sailors, you know, yes. And this is some of the history pictures and photos 
that is right there you know yeah see the vietnam war 19 Five, nineteen sixty, nineteen fifty, nineteen forty-five. See all this, so you can see. Uh, it's, it's a lot. Um, now let's go in. We are actually going inside the submarine right now. Mm -hmm. So this, so this place, I'm going to take you in there. This photo that you are seeing right there, I'm going to take you in there. You're going to see it, and this is the thing that we are going in. These are some of the uniform they wear during the time, you know. These are some of the ranks, I think, yeah. I think this is some of the ranks for the officers in there. And these are some, you know, designs, some badges and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, guys, follow me, um, please. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Um, and I'm going to bring you more of this so this is like the me we're still in the mini museum uh, of the submarine and uh, i'm going to take you inside the submarine shortly uh let me just show you uh this little this few things that you need to know before you go inside the submarine and yes we're still here and now we're going inside look at the outside and we're going inside submarine uh, so this is the entrance it has two entrances so, uh, this is the first entrance so we're going inside now um, yes this is the entrance into the submarine now we are in we are officially inside the submarine this is the Mesa hangar this is where they put the, you know I mean they put the missile hangar, the step missile hangar, I don't know, what to, you know, yes, so just, just enjoy, we're going to see more things in there, so just follow me. Before then, we're going to listen to a short video, um, to explain, or say a little history about this, and more people that was in there, how many days they spent in there, and all that. So, guys, listen to this. You're about to explore the former USS Growler, a guided missile submarine that served during the Cold War. I'd like to share some background on Growler to prepare you for your visit and give you a better understanding of this submarine's significance. By the time I'm finished, you'll be ready to enter the submarine. Growler served with the U.S. Navy from 1958 through 1964 during the height of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. Growler represents an early effort by the Navy to use submarines as launch platforms for nuclear missiles. Growler carried four Regulus-1 cruise missiles. The Regulus-1 missile was essentially a radar-guided jet aircraft that carried a nuclear warhead. Each missile had a maximum range of 500 miles and was powerful enough to destroy an area as large as New York City. Growler was a key part of the United States nuclear deterrence strategy. The United States believed that the threat of nuclear weapons lurking offshore would deter the Soviet Union from launching a strike against the United States. To accomplish this mission, Growler patrolled off the Soviet Union's Pacific coastline, staying hidden below the surface as much as possible. The crew stood ready for an order to fire the submarine's nuclear weapons at targets in the Soviet Union. To launch the missiles, Crowler needed to be on the surface like it is right now. The missiles had to be unloaded and launched one by one. Crowler's crew practiced launching the Regulus many times. Thankfully, they never received an order to launch an attack. Many crew members believed that if they launched the missile, they would be quickly discovered and destroyed by the enemy. They lived with this risk every day while on patrol. Growler's longest time on patrol was 72 days. Two months at sea may not sound so difficult, but on a submarine, it's a different story. Growler's crew numbered from 90 to 100 men. They worked, slept, ate, and relaxed inside these close quarters. While on patrol, Growler stayed below the surface. The crew could not leave the submarine. They had no sunshine, no starlight, and very little fresh air. As you move through the submarine, imagine what life was like for these men and keep in mind that every single one of them served on Growler voluntarily. 
As technology improved, newer, larger submarines with more sophisticated missiles made Crowler obsolete. It was decommissioned in 1964 after six years of service. The Navy planned to use Crowler as target practice for another submarine until it was rescued by the intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. In 1988, Congress turned control of Crowler over to the museum and it opened to the public a year later. Crowler is now the only U.S. Navy missile submarine open to the public. It is remarkably intact from its Navy service and retains most of its original features. We ask for your help in preserving this historic vessel. Please do not touch anything inside the submarine and do not bring in food or drinks. You'll be entering momentarily. Staff inside the submarine will be happy to answer any questions you have. Feel free to take photos, but remember that there will be other groups coming in behind you. Thank you and welcome aboard. Okay, now we are done with the introduction by the beautiful lady in the video right there. And now this is inside the submarine. We are in now. And look at that. Okay, so yes, we're going into the room by room. And uh huh. So as you can see, some people are uh, ahead of me. And yes, I'm going to take my time to show you couple of things some offices so this uh, some of the offices inside the submarine this let me remind you that this is underneath the water that the, the water right now this is underneath so we are down in the water like about I don't know how many feet we are now but yes we are underwater right now yes so all this place is under the water and it's not outside so yeah you should come here and experience the submarine look at that this is inside the submarine you can see navigation compartment you see this is where they navigate how you know they draw the plans where they pass where they go how to go how to move and all that the communications and stuff like that this is how all those things happen inside the submarine so yeah i'm gonna show you more let's go yeah we're still going we're still here we're still inside there mm -hmm. so this is the missiles checkout and guardian center right here uh, as you can see uh-huh and i'm moving up i'm moving in and i'm showing you all that i can yes uh, this is the washroom this like a yeah this is a toilet in there as the toilet for the officers and this is a checkout is a missile checkout you know right there you have all the things that you can see you know wow wow yes so mm -hmm. so yeah another another department right there you know okay so yeah this is the shower um that look good it look nice yeah that's the officer's shower it is the officer's shower so yeah and i see that's what you can see right there mm-hmm very neat and clean and this is like a kitchen I think this is where they cook they do all the cookings and everything yeah for the offices this is where they cook that's their kitchen they have everything in there mm-hmm and this is where they sit so talk do other things plan whatever they have to plan this is like a so this is another office this is another room that's what they do over there communications and stuff like that yeah another washroom stroke office and that's a bed right there that's the office and the bed so the officer has this little room right there see the communication telephone everywhere because it's all about communication so every second you see so that's another office so 
the officer's stateroom right there with a bed two people over there you can see two beds right there and then the washroom right there you know yes there's a commanding officer's stateroom. room so this is like a, a, a commanding officer's room this is his bed this is his telephone communication gadget everything is fine everything is right there uh, you know CPU quarters so this is how the quarters look like it takes about 12 people over there you can see I'm not too sure of the numbers but look at the bed it can take about 12 people right there you know and that's the little space where they can play some games and stuff like that you can see the restroom or the washroom right there you know yes this is another compartment okay so yes this is an office so yeah it has the telephone right there once again another telephone right there so yes we are still we're still in the submarine and this so you can see so many things amazing things right there the staircase going up you know you want to go up to another department you can take that stairs go up there as uh that is for the rudder that's actually going to uh, see the submarine left right straight ahead that chair and that chair are bow and stern planes they're the front and back of the submarine they're like aircraft's wings they're going to help it rise and dive um average depth is about 317 feet or 106 meters you're actually about five feet or 1.8 meters underwater these two periscopes uh that periscope over there is called a general purpose periscope that's one eye monocular vision to help you focus on a target like a rifle if you may this one's called a um uh, that's called attack periscope excuse me this is called a general purpose periscope it's just to see everything else around you okay so now we're down with a lady explaining to us what that place is about and uh, look at that in there i don't know what it is so yes we we'll continue our journey our tour inside this uh submarine uh the glora sg uh 577 so we're still on there and here still here and the intrepid uh when you come in you see this is uh another place i don't know what is that but yeah different thing what they're doing right there yeah you can see it and now we're moving forward see the radio room right there so many switches and this is the communication room this is where they communicate outside uh, from the, the, the submarine and this is like a kitchen so look look at that this is like a kitchen where they cook or something like that they do all the bakings and everything so yeah this is why they prepare the food for the officers and everyone on the time and this is like a, a tiny room uh, so this is a crew mess so in a mess in a, a mess in the military is like a place where they eat it's like the, the the eating area and all that so that's it that's the mess so yes um you can see another telephone right there for communication oh yes and then we move on let's go to another department that's a beautiful mess right there so yeah this is where they sleep this the beds. This are the beds for the officers. 
and all that this is like about this can take about this is like about 20 people here it can take about 20 people yeah but that's it that's where they sleep that's where they sleep that's where the officers sleep wake up every day and night under the sea we are under the sea we are under the sea right now at the moment and so yes so that's some of the food they were using it's another bed right there uh, another bed another bed another bed 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 uh, we're still in there um the submarine the uss submarine we're still in there and this is there the cruise washroom and toilet that's it got a toilet and that's the washroom right there and yes so mm -hmm. so many things that you can see over here and this is the engine room of the of the whole um submarine we are going close to the end of this video or uh, if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe like share this video and comment and this is the engine room the control booth this is actually the engine room of this whole ship i told you in a picture of the the man controlling the this thing right there this is exactly what i was showing you at the beginning of this store and this is right there in front of me i can see it's real i feel it that is so amazing that is the engine room huge one and this is another place you can go down 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 there oh my god this is amazing it's great so so great there's another washroom right there you know the toilet and the place you can wash your hand top there's a toilet right there another washroom and the submarine so guys this is really an amazing tour in a submarine down underneath of the sea the big sea right there so this is another room another engine room like a communication room also over here so yes just look at that look at that everything is in perfection still like the way it is during the world war ii oh my god this is so so amazing so yes these are all the name of the uss glora ss gen 577 1958 to 1964 the crew members and look at that so this is the main engine that powers the whole submarine and look at that another three beds over there for officers to sleep right there uh you know with the engine that's crazy oh my god this is so far the best tour i have been and this is the intrepid we visit everywhere we've seen the fly deck the hangar deck the officers mess everywhere we've seen every place and now we just finish with the submarine all right guys so this is where we've come to the end of our tour today on yes america here at intrepid i hope you have learned a lot and you have seen so much of things that i've shown you on this uh navy ship guys follow this channel subscribe to yes america for more content like this see you next time